All right. Hey, everybody, welcome. I'm Suzanne from Screen Right Now. I help screenwriters and industry creatives to naturally de stress and get focused into their creative rhythm and flow, build tremendous confidence, and deepen their emotional worldview into wisdom and truth. That way, they can hook every audience. So, today I'm joined by Susie Singer Carter. We're here in a special episode of Industry Wisdom Bits where Susie had some exciting things that's going on with her that I wanted her to be able to share with us. So, Susie, welcome. Thank you for being here. Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you're passionate about what's going on oh sure thanks for having me back i'm excited i love this woman she's awesome little beach bunny look at her look how tan she is <laughs> gorgeous anyway uh, yeah so um well i'm passionate we were just talking we're warming up and talking about you know the, the passion of 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 embracing our, our our senior society, which is really important to me right now. And with another podcast that I do called Love Conquers Alls, because it's so important to to realize that we're all headed there. And um and it's and it's a beautiful part of life and it's a and it is a rich part of life and it's a valuable part of life. And, and for some reason we compartmentalize like Suzanne said and and decide to to ignore it and and you know and it's all it's fear it's fear based and I and I'm I'm out to to like obliterate that fear and and help everybody embrace it because I think it's important. So that's one of my passions. And then my other passion uh, at the moment is working on this on a on a narrative podcast, which uh, came out of um, COVID really. And <clears throat> but it started way before that. It started with a project that was initially called Screen Queens, and it, we it, it's a project that has been. You know, in so many iterations, we've had it. We we wrote a, a screenplay. We wrote pilots. We had a deal at Fox t Television. We uh, we we were pitching it with um, with uh, uh, Ma Max Brooks, who helped us do create the whole world of this horror comedy. With and it's you know it's now called I Love Lucifer. And if you don't know who Max Brooks is, you should. He's a genius. He wrote. World War Z. He wrote the Zombie Survival Guide. He is also born of royalty, Hollywood royalty. His father is Max Brooks, and his mom is is Anne Bancroft. Mm -hmm. So this is this is quite a person, and um, <clears throat> you know. So we we had a, we had yet another deal uh, with this project, and you know, lo and behold, comes COVID, and during this time, you know, being creative, you just think, what can I do to keep momentum going to keep me satisfied as a creative person. And I thought, well, you know, while everybody was pretty much, you know, sequestered at home, I could probably get a hold of some really talented people to come and join the party. And I did, I did. And, you know, and I found that, and I, I want to say that, that as a, as a filmmaker or a content creator in any field that, and especially as a woman, that, that, the most success I've had is when I've I've taken charge of it, and when I have, you know, corralled it and 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 directed it where it can go and how it can go without depending on other people. And I and I mean that you know that you know if you have to become an auteur, then become an auteur. Then be a be the director. Be learn how to learn how to learn distribution. Learn you know. Yeah, be well-rounded, be well-rounded, get, get yeah. experience in every angle of it. That way you can really know how to contribute the best way you can to your role in being thoughtful and, and empathetic to other people who are part of the whole production. hundred yeah. percent, you know, and if, and if you're in a position where, you know, like when I did my short film, my mom and the girl, yes, we, we raised, we raised enough money to at least get a great, you know, crew and, and, and do what we wanted to, but we didn't have the luxury of a, of a rich budget. So you, you have to become resourceful and, and, you know, still, you know, high quality production, low budget, right? We can do it. We all have talents, so we can do it. It just takes a little bit more, you know, elbow grease, a little bit more sweat equity, but those are the projects that are so worth it because you have controlled it and it's your vision. It's actually actualized. Yeah, but actually, you know, I love it. You even use the word kind of sweat equity and kind of, you know, your vision. It's so much of that is, you know, the work that I do with creatives is really helping them, you know, be in the in the muddy part of the creative process. It's not just the inspirational ideas that come because those seem to be kind of effortless and free flowing. It's really how to 
to express that art uniquely in kind of say the, the, the narrative podcast that you're doing. And like, you know, a whole hour episode could be like a short film production because of all the intricacies. Huh. And it is kind of like really rolling up your sleeves and getting into that creative muck and making art out of it truly. And that is not easy thing to do. You know, no, it's not it's, just the inspirational ideas. It's it's rolling up the sleeve, it's being in the, in the muck of it and just creating like, got the clay, now what do we do with it? Okay, it's gonna exactly. be this beautiful thing. You, and you bake that clay and it breaks and then you go, shit, <laughs> and I don't have any more clay. Now who can I borrow some clay from? God damn it, right? Because you, because you're now you're in it and now you're already vested. And it's like, you know, you, which, which to some, to some extent that's good because you know, invest yourself, invest, you know, whoever, however you can invest yourself, you will, that's, that's as much as you have to give back to it. So you're not going to let go of it. You can't, you can't let go because of it. Because it's you. Invest it. Because it's, it's you. you. Yep, and exactly. also if you, if you have integrity, it's like, with our narrative podcast, which is I Love Lucifer, <laughs> it's it's high high concept. Da, 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 da. It's uh, two girl, two B movie, two B horror movie stars who fight movie monsters by day and real monsters by night, and that's it. It's very fun. It's bridesmaids, you know, in in the world of um, American Werewolf in London. That tone, scary as hell and funny as hell, you know, and it. It, and. And, you know, and we have such great actors that, that joined the, the party for nothing, you know, just because they love the project and they were, you know, hope, I think maybe a little bit seduced with our impassion, you know, when we spoke to them. Look, but authenticity, you know, we, creative authenticity is the value system of the future. And like you were shining this big beacon. Of course, they were going to be attracted to you to be like, I want to be a part of this because you're always so pure in your creative process, you know? Thank you. Well, I, it was. Yeah, honestly, things happen when it's meant to be. It's like with, when I go to my, I think about my short film with Valerie Harper and, you know, I remember my manager at the time, <laughs> is not my manager anymore, said, oh, you'll stop thinking stuff like that. You're, she's not going to do people, you know, that level is not going to do a short film, you know, for no budget. Da, 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 da. And I said, okay, let me just send the script, you know. And the rest so is history. Go. The rest she, is history. Rest yeah. Is history. <laughs> She loved the script. She loved the script. That's all. I didn't, you know, and that you have to, you have to believe in your, what you love and somebody will love it too. If you love it, somebody else will. Because... Oh, absolutely. If, if you love it, somebody else will be attracted to that pure, authentic love and that, that value that you're streaming through in your own creative process. So yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. So this is and yet another has... awesome project that we're looking forward to. I know you're releasing it um, this summer in 2021. Right. Mm -hmm. So on our it's... Podcast network. And um, if you love The Witcher, we have um, Adam Levy, who play who is one of the leads in The Witcher on Netflix is so phenomenal. You're just going to he's delicious. You're going to you don't want to miss his performance. He's so good. We're having so much fun. And um, and it's just it's going to be a fun ride. You'll be scared. You'll laugh. You'll 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 you might cry. Maybe who knows? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, I can't wait for it to be released so we can all listen in on it and be scared and laugh and, and all of the good, all, all the goodness that you put into it for all of the creativity that you were willing to kind of roll up your sleeves and be in the creative muck about to put something amazing together. And of Thank course, you attracted some fantastic, you know, resources to support you in it. And I'm sure your audience is going to be thrilled as well. So um, you said sure. we, can be, we can find it in June, on uh, June 21, yeah. June 2021. Uh, on the authenticity everywhere network. yeah authentic, uh, it's authentic podcast network which is everywhere apple and you know and spotify and and all your podcast uh, favorites any one of them it'll be there and you know we'll be i think we'll have the trailer up probably in the next week or so so um you'll be able to, to see we're going to have some fun events to lead lead up to the launch so it'll be great we're going to have some chats with you know our our cast and I think it's just going to be fun. We need fun now. We've had a bad, we've had a rough year. It's been a tough year and yeah. I, I'm ready to have some fun. So I'm sure everyone's ready to have some fun. Yeah. Well, we're yeah. here. To, we're, we're, we're ready, willing, and able to, uh, to appreciate your blood, sweat, and tears of this creative process that you've uh, been oh, enjoying and that you're here to, to deliver to us. So can't wait for it. There'll be links in the description box, the video on, on how to get, uh, 
an earful of this podcast when it comes out this summer. So, so Susie, thank you so much for being here today and sharing about your passions. And um, uh, we, we did an interview before, so anybody wants to know a little bit more about what she was mentioning previously about, you know, her passion about the, the voice of the, the older generation and, and the wisdom that comes with it. Feel free to go watch that video um, and also just check her out. She's fabulous. So thank you, Susie. Aww. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much.